I um, of course, you know, I've been getting a lot of backlash uh, for a lot of truths that we believe simply because of what the Bible says. Y'all have to understand that we are a very studious people. Um, and I just got finished speaking to Brother Bud, um, and he's just giving me some wonderful ideas. Let me ask y'all this question right here, and these, these are some of his ideas that come forth, and I think they're very good ideas. With those that oppose head coverings, okay, how about this? How about you show me where in the Bible that women stopped wearing head coverings? All right, can you do that? And also, can you show me where in the scripture that it says that a woman shouldn't wear head covering? And while you're at it, uh, while we are in, in this show me business, uh, because, you know, it seems like that it's always the people who are pessimistic, the people who are non-studied and non-educational are the ones who always have the questions. Well, now it's my turn to ask the questions. Show me where in the Bible that, that Yah made swine, pig, pork, clean. Because if he didn't, you're in transgression if you choose to follow the God of Israel. Because uh, the God of Israel is not the God of Christians. And that's just the truth because Christianity teaches you how to transgress the law. So show me where in the Bible that it says that a woman stopped wearing a dress or she shouldn't wear a dress. And if you can show me where in all that, then we have a valid argument rather than all these logical fallacies that we seem to keep coming up with. Again, because it's been my experience uh, that people who are full of doubt and people who don't even live this word, much less or even educated in the Bible, they're the ones that's full of questions. But when you start asking them questions, they have no answers at all. So it's now it's time for you to be studied. So there's a lot of show me where, and I think that you should do us a service and show us where, because we've given you our answers and cutting in there concretely. So show me where. Show me where women stop wearing head covers because the Bible keeps talking about it all the way through it. Paul, and that's supposed to be the champion of Christianity, he speaks about it extensively in 1 Corinthians 11, which some people try to twist, warp, and distort. So, hey, and also show me where in the Bible that God, Jesus, Paul, repealed the Sabbath and told us that we didn't have to do it. Because if you can't show me where, then you are living in utter transgression because Jesus said in John 14, 15, if you love me, then guess what you're going to do? You're going to keep my commandments. And he also said in 1 John that he that saith that he loved me and keeping not my commandments is a liar and the truth is not in him. So those of you that are attending Sunday in favor of the Sabbath, in lieu of the Sabbath, you, you, you love Sunday and your tradition of Sunday over the Sabbath, you got to show us where it's repealed. You got to show us where it's been replaced. You got to show us where God changed or Jesus changed the commandments, uh, which I really, truly, in my own personal mindset, everything that I've actually bought to you, you can't prove. Y'all have a wonderful weekend. Do some studying.